This is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week pregame show, sponsored by Valorec. and rip and it's caught inside. Blast his way. Open field. Breaks another tackle. He's to the 35. The 30. We well, love the gutsy play call right there. Another one for the highlight reel. Don't feel it's caught. It is hard to believe, but we have reached the halfway point of the high school football regular season. Week five has arrived. Tonight we shine the spotlight on two of the top teams in the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference as Lowellville faces off with Jackson Milton in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. I'm Chad Krispinski alongside Ryan Allison. Lots on the line here this evening. Absolutely. Both these teams are fighting for the top spot in the conference standings this year, so a win tonight is huge. And we're expecting plenty of points. Both the Rockets and Blue Jays have been lighting up the scoreboard this season. Yes, they have. Let's take a look at tonight's matchup notes. This game, very important. Both Lowville and Jackson Milton enter week five, tied with Mineral Ridge atop the MVAC standings. And the series between the Rockets and Jays has been even with both teams splitting the last six meetings. But it was the Rockets getting the better end a year ago by a final count of 41-7. In fact, let's take you back to last year. Lowville quarterback Vinny Ballone threw for a pair of touchdowns while the Rocket defense held the Blue Jays to just 146 total yards in that 41-7 victory. What a huge performance for Lowville one week ago. The Rockets knocked off Springfield by a final score of 42-24. Senior quarterback Vinny Ballone piled up five touchdowns in that win, two of those to fellow senior Brady Bonofsky. With that win, Lowville enters week five unbeaten at 4-0, and they can certainly score at will. That's right. They're averaging more than 47 points per game. In fact, they haven't scored less than 42 points in a single game this season. First computer rankings also released this week in Lowville, currently fifth in Division 7, Region 25. A major part of the Rockets' potent offense has been the aforementioned senior quarterback, Vinny Ballone. Yeah, he was a member of the Big 22 class of 2021, and he's making a big time case again this year. He's already Lowville's all time leader in passing yards, completions, and touchdowns, and he reached those milestones before his senior year started. Lowville head coach Andrew Mamula called him one of the best deep ball throwers in the entire area. Coach Mamula told us Ballone is making some very good reads this season and takes those deep shots whenever is needed. But he's a dual threat quarterback that certainly can scramble. He models his game after former Panthers quarterback Cam Newton. His speed, his willingness to keep his eyes down the field at quarterback. You know, he played defense last week in Springfield. I thought he played uh, well um, in, in the secondary at safety. So, um, but offensively, he's accurate. He extends plays. Um, so that's what we're going to try to minimize this week. Uh, he could do it all. I mean, great arm. He could throw in the pocket. He could throw outside the pocket. Great runner. So, uh, you know, great player. When we come back, we'll turn our attention to Jackson Milton. The Blue Jays are led by a record-breaking quarterback as well who continues to stuff the stat sheet. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week pregame show. And welcome back as the countdown to kickoff continues. Let's now turn our attention to Jackson Milton. The Blue Jays football program is making its debut on our WKBN Game of the Week. Yeah, and it's well deserved. They're perfect through the first four weeks of the season, and they find themselves right in the mix for both the conference title and a playoff berth. They sure do. Jackson Milton picked up a signature win last Friday night. The Blue Jays rallied past Western Reserve for a 22-21 win. Alex Schiavi's late touchdown pass sealed the deal in that heart-stopping victory. Let's take a closer look at Jackson Milton. The Blue Jays enter this week's action undefeated at 4-0. Yeah, it's the second time in the last three years that they've started a season 4-0, and they're right in the mix for a spot in the playoffs, currently sitting at number 8 in Division 6. Region 21. Leading the charge for Jackson Milton, senior quarterback Alex Schiavi, who has been filling up the stat sheet all season long. Yeah, it all started in week one when he set the school record for touchdowns in a single game with seven against Latonia. He's completing 71% of his passes this season with 842 yards through the air and 12 touchdowns. 
Head coach Nathan Broad says Schiavi has a great has had a great offseason in the weight room and put on 20 pounds of muscle. He's a quarterback that prefers to throw before he runs, staying in the pocket to pick defenses apart. He brings great accuracy to the field and a cannon for an arm. He says he models his game after Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy, and he absolutely loves his swagger. He's just a strong, physical, fearless kid. And I mean, I think that's a reflection of their coach there, that, that, that he has a lot of those qualities. And it's he's one of those kids that, that you know, a bad play doesn't put him off track, that he's going to come back. He's a gunslinger. He's, he's fearless. He's ferocious. And it's, you know, we, we just got to get after him a little bit and, and make it a little bit tougher for him. But, but he's, he's one of the more fearless kids that I've seen in our league. Yeah, like you said, he has some good numbers. And he puts up a lot of, a lot of, a lot of points and a lot of numbers. So it's impressive. So you got to be ready for it. Let's take a look at our keys to the game. Lowville is looking to protect the football. Coach Mamula wants to guard against being over aggressive and turning the ball over. Meanwhile, Jackson Milton is looking to contain Vinny Ballone. He can get hot and take over a game. The Jays, of course, want to avoid that at all costs. And finally, both sides are looking to score big. Jackson Milton head coach Nathan Broad says it will take more than four touchdowns to get a win in week five. Should be a lot of fun. The spotlight shining brightly on high school football's biggest stage. We're just about ready for kickoff. Lowville and Jackson Milton face off next in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.